Hi again, welcome to Babalochi Learn for Good. I am Akash Bishwas and let's get started with basic computer hardware tutorial 3. So in this uh, tutorial, we are going to look at the keyboard and how it works. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the keyboard and uh, it's a fairly old keyboard, almost uh, 8 to 9 years old. And uh, this has a pin based connector, as you can see, like a modern day keyboard which has a USB uh, connector and this is known as a PS2 connector it has six pins you can see over here and we'll look at this uh, connector a little later and I've taken out all the screws from behind and this is what it looks like okay to save time in this tutorial and I've used uh, this uh, screw head to remove the screw so it's very important to use the right uh, screw head to remove the screws okay so it will be different for every uh, keyboard because every uh, manufacturer has this uh, different types of uses uh, different types of screws so it's important to have a good collection set of uh, screw heads so that you can easily remove uh, that particular keyboard screws okay so I'll just keep this aside and uh, we'll have a look what's inside a keyboard okay so uh, as I've told you, I've taken out all the screws, so it's very uh, easy for me to just remove the cover where the keys are. Okay. And this is what it looks like inside a keyboard. Okay. So these are the small uh, rubber that is used uh, when you press a key. And this is the main circuitry, which will look in a short while. So. A keyboard is a small computer in itself, okay, and it has its own processor and circuitry that carries information to and fro from the pro from that processor. And beneath the keys, as you can see here, are the small pieces of uh, rubber, these, that uh, stops the key from moving down and it pushes back uh, when you relieve uh, the key, when you release the key. It pushes the key back unless uh, and if you have lost as you can see there's some of them missing because while I was uh, removing uh, the keyboard some of them just fell down and got lost okay and if I put back the keyboard the cover and uh, if I use it some of the keys over here this is the numpad I think it's seven or four five six or seven eight nine whatever it is won't be pushed back okay it'll be there if I press it it'll be right down and uh, the transparent plastic layer so this this is the most important part of the keyboard uh, detects the keys when you press it okay so this as you can see this circuit in itself and uh, there are three separate layers of plastic that work to detect the keys you press and two of them are covered in electrically conducting mat uh, metal tracks and uh, there is an insulating layer between them with uh, holes in it so and also this is also circuitry for the uh, num lock the caps lock etc so I'll just remove these as well to show you how you can easily remove them with the right uh, screw head okay And this is so this plastics attached to this okay so this is the circuit in itself and this is the wire that goes to the computer okay so I just removed all of these right now all of these rubber pieces so that we can have a look at the plastic And as I said, uh, the plastic is a transport layer that detects the keys and it has uh, three layers of plastic as you can see from here. If I remove them, there are three layers of plastic. Okay, so there's one, two and three layers. Okay. So 
So these dots, as you can see over here, it's white dots. Uh, it's where the keys are placed. Okay, so the keys, the actual key over here, and beneath that comes the rubber, and beneath that, these keys are. Uh, is where the when we press the keys, there are two connecting layers of plastic, and and when you press the keys, the and this uh, circuit detects that key. Okay, and uh, the lines, as you can see over here, these connections are electrically uh, connected, and they allow uh, tiny electric currents to flow from uh, from them when the layers are pressed tight to one another by a key moving from uh, above. Okay, so basically, when you press a key, it will generate a pulse, a small tiny current. And that is detected by this plastic and there are three layers of plastic and we'll look at each of them separately and detect a tiny pulse a uh, tiny current and that uh, detection is done by this circuitry over here okay and so you can see over here and that sends the signal to the computer and it's detected by the computer and uh, there is one set of plastic uh, printed in uh, light gray and the other is on the upper sheet of plastic and printed in dark gray so basically here this is a, basically what it looks like inside three uh, plastics you can see oh sorry for that and they are very uh, tightly woven okay so put together if you don't uh, and if you try and remove them, it will spoil them. Okay, so this is spoiled keyboard I'm just using for this uh, tutorial. So these two sheets, okay, the sheet layer 1 and sheet layer 3 are kept apart by clear plastic layer except at the holes, which is where the keys are pushed down to make the two sheets touch okay so as you can see there is one circuitry over another and then another okay so there are three different circuits okay that's very complicated as you can see over here it's like a maze okay and so uh, when you press a key key press a switch actually it's a switch that you press which completes the circuit so when you press say A I think A is over here A or S I don't know and uh, completes the circuit and it allows a tiny amount of current to flow through the keyboard and the mechanical action of the switch is known as a bounce okay so this is a very technical term and when the processor finds a circuit that is uh, closed it completes the location of that uh, circuit on the key matrix to the character map and it's a read only memory ROM and uh, so a character map is a uh, comparison uh, chart or lookup table uh, which uh, tells the processor the position of the of each key and in the matrix and what uh, key in the matrix and what each uh, keystroke or combination of keystroke represents so for e uh, so for example when you press b the character uh, map tells lets the processor know that you have uh, pressed b and not uh, so you can also press B in caps or B in small. So that also the matrix, the lookup table detects that. And uh, so that's how a keyboard works basically. And uh, as I said, it has three uh, layers of plastic and this is the main circuitry. Okay. And also this is the way it is detected. There are three LEDs one for the num lock, one for caps lock and one for the scroll lock scroll lock sorry and then uh, here is the circuit so this is how a keyboard works in a short it's uh, rather very complicated if you really want to understand the electronics part the electrical part how these circuits are made and how current uh, flow through each of them when you press a uh, switch a key etc so uh, and the lastly as i told you this connector is a ps2 connector okay so the name uh, ps2 comes from uh, ibm when they created their personal computers 
okay and uh, and so yeah so ps2 is known as a personal system 2 series of computers by ibm as i said and it is a six pin as you can see over here six pin connector six pin uh, mini din connector so the connector goes like this one two three four five six that's how you connect but nowadays uh, everyone uses uh, usb uh, keyboard connectors because that's universally accepted and it's very easy and uh, long lasting and durable because these when asked to really use them and remove from the computer and put them back the screws used to get uh, broken and so it used to be a lot of headache again I have to remove that uh, particular pin and then replace it etc so um, a little word on uh, keyboard and uh, if you want to uh, repair uh, if your keyboard is in warranty say you've just bought a keyboard it's been six months I'm giving a warning never 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 remove the parts or the screws because you're going to spoil the warranty it's, it's, your warranty is going to be over and you can spoil the keyboard and as you have seen it's a very complicated uh, affair when you remove the keyboard you have to remove the cover with the keys and then beneath that you have uh, these uh, rubbers okay which are very uh, small and tiny so when you remove them it can easily be lost and so for that particular key that there isn't a rubber that key won't work so and also you can really spoil the keyboard as well if you if if these uh, plastic sheets get spoiled and they're kind of torn as you can see it's gone the keyboard won't work and uh, yeah so this is a little word on uh, keyboards and how they work and hope uh, you guys have uh, enjoyed watching this video as usual do like comment share and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching